Hi everyone, it's Will here. I'm an illustrator and a character designer and today I want to celebrate the end of spooky season with a brand new video. The theme for the video was to redraw a character I created with one of my friends, Raluca Farkas. You can find her Instagram here with uh, her name, uh, Lucky's Heart. You should really follow her, she's really talented and very sweet. Um, last year we created this character, you can see now. And now it's time for me to redraw it. It was a draw this in your style with a little something more because the idea was to bring two artists together to draw the, the piece. So now I'm alone for this year, but uh, I hope you will enjoy the video. See you at the end. Well, before jumping on the illustration, I grabbed some references with my previous art and poses and I wanted to give a full body design for the monster girl. Then I studied uh, two poses uh, to see the one could be the best for the new illustration. Uh, at first I started to warm up with a little face of the, of the girl and then I work on the two poses. I already preferred the second one, but I needed to, to try another pose to see if the character would be better. So I'm starting with a pretty rough um, sketch uh, with kind of a skeleton uh, shape to, to see if I can draw the poses uh, good and then I'm starting to refine and tweak the proportions and when the body is good I started to apply the design choices of the character to make it uh, her own and pretty unique so I grab the, some features like hair close and add some little twist for example with the with the boots i took the proportion with the liquefied tools and i wanted to push her hair shape to have a more clear silhouette and kind of iconic iconic design um, compared to to the first one because since last year my shape language really evolved. When my rough sketch uh, is done, I started to clean it with a new 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 line, and I go deeper and deeper on the on the details of the of the body. So I'm jumping around the illustration, tweak proportions, try new things like um, I try a different hairstyle so and I refine the dress so the whole process is to make the lines the cleaner uh, as possible to have a better understanding of the illustration I wanted to add some cute uh, background details just for, for fun. Then I was wondering if the expression was too flat and it was so I started to try new options like a kind of uh, angry bored expression and a sassy one with a tongue out <laughs> but it didn't uh, end up to be the final choices like the the pose i imagine for her was um uh, she like uh, fell on the floor so it was fun to tweak the expression 
then uh, in my process I'm color blocking the silhouette to add some colors and see if the silhouette is good for the colors this time it was pretty easy because I already had the color palette established with the previous design so it was quick I just had some twists and tweaks because I wanted to reinforce the value of the illustration to have a big focus on uh, on the head. So there is just few little changes between uh, the two the two illustration. I needed to figure it out. Um, the, the boots and legs color so I wanted to keep the idea of two monster girl assembled in one so I tried to keep the purple and blue difference between them well now it's time to color block it's probably one of my favorite <laughs> relaxing part of the illustration where you will define your shapes with uh, with color without following line so you can have some free free time so i like to add the main silhouette and then add the other colors on top of it with a different uh, layer i'm really using um, clipping mask and mask layer to to create this and have a better look and it was i want it to be easy to change uh, colors or, or render the illustration on the on the next so I'm starting to add few details and already kind of um, thinking about 3D and how the girl is in the in her home world. So well with this step I'm trying to use one main brush and few different for adding a little bit more texture to it like uh, for for the dress or for the eyelashes detail for example so it's kind of my my process i'm um, jumping around and when my color are pretty well established um just pausing and adding just a basic shadow to bring a more 3D feeling to, uh, to the characters. Like um, the character is growing in his world, so we need to, to feel it's not just um, an image of, or an illustration of a character. It's kind of like um, a picture uh, you, you take uh, and this just sh quite shadow really help for cleaning the whole illustration so I'm just blocking the shadows as uh, the main shapes and then um, I'm jumping through the, the full illustration to see if it's correct sometimes I er erase some parts and sometimes I add some details to when I'm filling it when this step is done it's the probably second <laughs> more relaxing part but my process is quite messy with this because um, I'm starting with, for example, the, the high. My main focus is the face. So uh, I wanted to start with it, with, to add uh, more details to it because I wanted to be the real focus. 
so I really take time to render everything, add some layers and texture to the skin, refine the skeleton nose, the mouth, the eyes, and the little brain uh, going out of her, her head. So I really wanted to be the, the main focus and the more detailed um, part of the, of the illustration. Even if I will, uh, of course, render the rest of the body to make it uh, something more cohesive, but there is more details on the face than on the other parts. Well, um, I'm not pretty um, organized with this uh, process. Uh, I'm just floating through the body and render when I think it, need, it needs to be rendered. So um, just being on the left, on the right, on the left, right at the bottom, at the top, it's pretty messy. So um, even if I'm doing something, when I will watch and uh, when I watch the drawing, I was like, oh damn, I need to re refine this and then going back to the thing <laughs> I was doing. So it's just uh, pretty messy, but the overall idea is to refine all the shapes to give uh, more 3D feelings, like uh, to reinforce the previous shadow that I created. The main shadow is the base and with the rendering process i adding few layers and uh, sometimes i'm adding shading shadows sometimes i'm adding lightings so it depends on the needs sometimes just lines or texture and um, during all the process i'm checking the value of the illustration with a black and white layer so i'm jumping on this to have a clear value and focus. Probably the second um, focus on the illustration is the boots because I think it's really important to have a focus on them because they are quite in foreground so I want it to be a cute fancy boots with a really 3D, 3D feel, even in the details, like the, the kind of zip to, to the boots. So as you can see, I render the first one and I'm jumping on the neck and then I'm going back to the second boots. I'm trying to have the same rendering techniques for the two boots to have a cohesive looks. So I'm adding texture and uh, with different brushes uh, I give some light and shadows for more 3D rendering. When uh, everything is fine for a part, I'm just trying to, to go next. And I wanted to add uh, quite details about how the different body parts are stick together so I create the lines but I didn't want it some just lines to bring them together as the previous year's illustration so I had this little metal bits piece to, to bring the, the body he, I think it had some cute layer then uh, I'm just rendering everything like the air, reinforce the shadows, and this is uh, quite the end of the process because I'm working on lightings to add more lights, more shadows to really bring the design together and really feel the, the 3D. I really, really, really like to add rim light with this uh, white texture brush to reinforce the light source and bring the, some details uh, 
like the eyelashes I really wanted to focus on this like on uh, the, the side of the, the face so it's almost the end this is probably the last part of the illustration I'm just tweaking everything I really like to have a big shadow to ground the counter on the floor this one is pretty good <laughs> and then just few liquify tools because I just want to tweak the proportions so this is the end of the process I'm checking the value adding few details to the end <laughs> the last touches as, uh, as I can say and now I need to clean the um, the background it's pretty pretty simple just a, a one color and <laughs> cute uh, design that I add uh, a lot of in my art I really like how how this illustration turned out for this year improvement I really like to see her with a full body poses and have a more uh, kind of story moment with the, with the new pose and the expression. I'm really happy with the, with the result of, uh, of this one and all the changes uh, from the, the past year. Well, the video is over. I hope you really enjoy watching it and probably you learned something. If you want to see more about me and my art, you should uh, really consider to follow me. So if you like this one, that's a like. If you want to ask anything, feel free to tell me what you what you think about it in the comment section so this is the end have a great day and see you on the next video